Building a business 101. Let me just tell you something that is just kind of, oh, because 90% of startup businesses fail. 50% don't make it to five years. Why? Because they don't have the right ingredients to build a long lasting business. I'm gonna share with you in a very simple way, okay? Some key ingredients when it comes to building a successful long lasting business. You need to have opportunity and idea come together. Opportunity is that ideal moment, that ideal location, that invitation. And right now I'm inviting you that this is an, a perfect opportunity, a time to build a business. Even when the marketplace is struggling, there's so much opportunity, you just need to look for it. Whatever you look for, whatever you search, you will find. So if you begin to have a mindset that begins to search and look for opportunity, you will find it. And then when you see that opportunity, you need to create an idea. Now, what makes a good idea in the marketplace? This is where a lot of people fail. This is why there's nine out of 10 startups that fail because their ideal just wasn't good. Not for the marketplace. Maybe the idea was really cool for them and maybe their neighbor, but not for the marketplace. So your idea has to be something that the marketplace wants and needs. What makes a good idea? If your idea, if your product or service will solve a problem, guess what? You can build a business around that. I'm talking about like even so something so simple that there was a problem that I wanted to take notes on something that's convenient and fast and not have a folder. Somebody came up with an idea of a post-it, right? Boom, that was a big business to build around. So if you can solve a problem, you can build a business around it. If you can fulfill a need, especially if there's a lot of people who have this need and will pay for it, guess what? You can build a good long lasting business around it, right? If your product and service generates social impact, that's something you can build a business on long lasting as well. Another thing that is a good thing for your idea to build a business on is when you it can accelerate, when you can accelerate somebody or a business's growth and knowledge, guess what? You can build a good business around that. Another thing that builds a good business is innovation. When you have a product and service that's innovative, it causes businesses and other people to ha want that because they want to have the cutting edge. They want to have that, you know, that edge on their competitor. So if you have a product and service that's innovative, guess what? You can build a long lasting business around that. Now you can build a business, a good business on one of these, but if you have an idea that begins to hit three or more of these, Man, that's gonna really put you up there when you, begin, when you begin to talk about the success of your business. If you have an idea that solves a problem, that meets a need, that generates social impact, that accelerates growth and knowledge, that's innovative, guess what? You have the ingredients to a successful, long-lasting business. Now, once you get started, once you have that opportunity, you see it, right? You, you take the opportunity, you have the idea. Now you need to put what you have and all that you are into that business so that you can build it. Use what you have. Don't become a victim and say, oh, it's because I don't have the resources. It's just, uh. no, the problem is not lack of resources. The problem is lack of resourcefulness. So we need to become resourceful and use what we have, use what we know, use what we are to put into our business so that we can take advantage and seize the opportunity and get our good idea and actually build something that will create wealth. So what are some things that you have right now that you can put into your business? Let me tell you. One, passion. Man, that's important when building a long lasting business. If you don't have a passion, people are not gonna follow you, they're not gonna believe you. You have to be passionate about what you're selling, what your business is, right? So with the passion, I mean your energy, your attitude, your grind and your grit and your gratitude, your skill and your ability, all these things have to do with your passion that you bring into your business so that the marketplace will recognize you and want to buy from you long term. That's one thing that you already have that you can already develop, you can already bring. Another thing is your time. Time is valuable. That's something that you have that you can put into your business to help it to win. Your time. Time is not renewable. It's not something that you can get back. Something it's so valuable that you have, that you can give, that you can put into this business to help yourself win. You have the energy, you have the time. Now you need the vision. You need to get this idea and begin to cast the vision and know where you're going because without a target, you can't hit it. So know where you're going, know how you're going to get there, when you're going to get there by, who's coming with you. You need to be clear and have a clear vision, system, and a structure for your business. The more clear you're about this, this is going to help you to win in your business. 
And the last thing is technology. Man, when it any any business that you're doing these days, technology is important. I mean, you can build your business, a really big business, long lasting business on your phone. That's the power of technology. So don't avoid it. Don't go away from it. I want to challenge you to use it, to go learn it and use it to build your business. So we're talking about business building 101. When you take an opportunity, you see that there's opportunity and you seize it and you create an idea and you use what you have and who you are to now begin to put into this business so that you can create the future that you always wanted.